going to show you how I'm going to render this um, simple Quarto website with some Python code in it using Visual Studio Code on my Mac. So first, let's review what you need to install on a Mac to use Python, Visual Studio Code, and Quarto. So obviously, get your Visual Studio Code, install Python, then you need to install Jupyter, and that's pretty much all you're going to need on the Python side. Then, um, ignore the next bit. I'm not going to make PDFs. If you did want to make PDFs, install Tiny Tech. But we are going to use Quarto, so you're going to install Quarto from your Mac from here. Okay, so once you have that, those uh, things, uh, really just these four things installed here, then we can render a Quarto document. So let's go here and we're going to grab the URL, copy, and now hop over to Visual Studio Code. And here's my um, Git uh, interface. So say clone repository. There we go. Tell it where to put it. I'm just going to put it on the desktop because I'm going to get rid of it later. Yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so it opens it up. Here's the Explorer, and there it is. Okay, so uh, first thing, let me show you. The code is uh, just in this file here that says code. Okay, so I can open that up here, and I can go ahead and run that cell. Um, you notice this is a Quarto document. It's going to show up over here. There we go. I can run this cell here. Okay. So these um, these bits of Python code, they depend on the some modules. Within the repository, you've got this requirements file here that tells you what modules that you need. So before I uh, ran this code. I did run the code. Let me see. It's right here. Uh, I ran this right here to install all of those from my requirements file. Okay. So now I have this and I'm inside this directory. Let's close that. And what I want to do is I want to open a terminal window, go up to here, terminal, new terminal. That's going to show up here. And I do Quarto render. And now that's going to go through it. In my, uh, I'll show you in a moment, my Quarto file, I'm setting the format to HTML. So this is right here. You can see it's going to website. And it, the format is just HTML, so it's uh, rendering to HTML. I can now go to this and it's in the site and I can open that up. And now you see this is what it created. And you can see it has that um, rendered Python code. Hope that helps.